Good morning. We have some fog out there this morning. You can see it very well on our Storm Team Skycam network. Dense fog in some areas here in Fargo. We still can see some things here, but you can also see the moisture in the air and it's just a little bit of a haze, kind of a dreamy start to our day today. And that's going to be hanging around for a little while here this morning. So foggy conditions to greet us after all of that rain fell. Now we do have some dense fog advisories in and around the surrounding area uh, in the heart of the valley. No advisory, uh, but out toward the west, the Devil's Lake Basin, and parts of the James River Valley advisory in effect until 9 a.m. However, we have fog everywhere. We're looking at visibility that is lowered in Fargo at four miles. Not too bad right now, but that could worsen. Other places where we're down to zero visibility over by Carrington and can do at zero there. And on the other side of the valley, we're looking at half mile reports coming in from Bedette and Bemidji and Valley City at less than a mile too. So some dense fog has developed in a good portion of the valley here this morning. That's thanks in part to all that moisture that fell yesterday with those storms. They were slow moving. The ones that produced all of that rain and even some of those funnel clouds yesterday and this is the radar's estimated rainfall based on uh, what the radar was detecting. And you can see there are several areas here where we're looking at a good amount of rain with these storms. Fargo-Moorhead saw some good rain, Cass County, but especially west, we were looking at some storms in Griggs and Steel County and in these little bullseyes of orange here and elsewhere. That's where we were looking at about three inch uh, rain reports coming in from some of those locations. So a good amount of rain in some areas. Of course, not everybody received it, but the potentials there for more coming up in the extended planner. We'll tell you about that in just a moment. Our radar showing quiet weather right now. It's clear if it's not foggy for you and expanding the view. The rest of the tri-state area looking pretty quiet except for one spot, the northwestern part of North Dakota. We're seeing some rain and some thunder showers happening in that area. And as we take a look at our temperatures, it's not too bad. We're starting off pretty mildly this morning. No 70s on the map, so dropping things by about 10 degrees from the last couple of days, but it still feels okay. With some mid 50s up in the northwest to some low 60s in Lakes Country back to Fargo. We're in the 61 one degree range. Uh, Grand Forks is at 62. Our winds are out of the northwest and pretty light up to 15 miles per hour in Thief River Falls. So here's your hour by hour planner. We're looking at some fog this morning blanketing the valley and that will be hanging around for a little while. Gradually we'll start to see that erode and we'll get some sunshine as we move into the noon hour and we stay in those sunny skies into the afternoon. So temperatures into the 70s to some low 80s for your highs today. So not too bad. The wind will be on the lighter side out of the northwest. Not as muggy uh, coming up for this afternoon and uh, just nice and bright too. Heading into this evening we'll still be looking nice if you're working until that five six o'clock hour you'll still enjoy a nice evening we're going to see those temperatures around seven o'clock into the 70s so even a couple of low 80s still and staying dry at least for today now tomorrow chances for rain and thunder start up you can see some hints of that in north central parts of north dakota late tonight and here we go we're going to see a chance for a few showers and thunder showers into early tomorrow morning over around the devil's lake basin and maybe some fog over in the east as well again to start off tomorrow morning then heading in into the nine o'clock hour, we start to cloud up a little bit more. Temperatures rising into the 60s and 70s by lunchtime. And heading into the afternoon, nothing that looks too impressive at that point in time. Temperatures in the 70 to 80 degree range in most areas. You can see there's quite a temperature gradient though, around 70 up by Lake of the Woods. And check out Ellendale, near 90 degrees there. So a big difference in temperatures, indicating there's something going on here. And we've got that system rolling in, and chances for some strong to severe storms for your Friday night and into those early morning hours on Saturday. Here's a view of that photo again, uh, that Anvil and uh, the Comstock area. Just a gorgeous shot in this picture. Thanks, Tiffany. And into the weekend, again, that morning uh, chance for rain in, on Saturday, but then we clear that out and it's looking okay. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s uh, for your Saturday and Sunday and continuing that stretch into next week with some more storm chances Tuesday and Wednesday. So summer like weather as we transition into summer here this week. Surprisingly cooler than what we've seen the last right. two weeks. Right. <laughs> it's, you know, we're talking about 70s being a little bit on the cooler side given we've seen several days of 90 degrees already this season. Oh, I'll take the cooler temps. Thank <laughs> you very nice. much, Lisa. Savor summer with some delicious fresh food. We have some recipes next for your family.